So welcome everyone to uh, Energetic Manual Therapy Taster, Teaser, Intro. And everything is energy, and this is a class about energy work with bodies with manual therapy that I'm going to be showing. And when I ask that question, what would you, if you guys can get anything out of it, you will show an energy about what that would be for you that will start to create what I talk to. So in a way, you guys are all the leaders of the class by the energies that you want to have me speak about. <clears throat> and that's how I do all my body work in my therapy sessions, is that the, the, the patient or the client or who's on my table or who's in my class, it's what they want to change that leads me to um, facilitate that. So they're the leaders of the energy. Make sense? So uh, the energetic manual therapy is a body work technique of manual therapy I've been saying it's based really on um, myofascial cranial sacral and the years as a physical therapist I have. Working with the body's fascial system is really the target of the manual therapy that I'm doing. And I've had so access is about accessing the consciousness of everything, having access to consciousness or access to your awareness, access to what you're not. So really, the name is straightforward. What it is, brilliant name. And what is consciousness? It, it's talked about in many different ways. Like you know, if someone's awake, they're conscious, and if they're unconscious, they're in a bed in a hospital. That's not what we're talking about when we talk about consciousness. And it's not a metaphysical way of talking about it either. It's really the awareness of everything without judgment. Judgment's the tricky part. What is judgment? Judgment is when you solidify something in place and make it like make something solid that may just be a brief awareness or a perception or something and you solidify it can be good or it can be bad. But what it does is when you create from judgment or you have judgment, nothing that doesn't match your judgment I can ever be there. You can never see anything else that doesn't match your judgment. So you can't have awareness. You can't have consciousness with judgment. You can't have your awareness when you have judgment. And judgment is something that, you know, there's people like you should judge them. You shouldn't be airy fairy and not have judgments. It makes you solid and real in this reality if you have those things. Yeah, it certainly does. If you're solid and real in this reality, you can't have the play and the movement and the possibilities of actual awareness because judgment stops that. And judgments affect your body in a multitude of ways. Judgments in our body do create solidifications, not forcing it. Because you force fascia and it goes. I'm not going anywhere now. My job is to keep these things in place, and you're forcing me, I will now resist you, and I will create more restrictions, or I will become stronger against you. It's just kind of its nature. So this work is really designed to create a change in the structure and the form, the form of the body, get rid of adhesions, allow more freedom of movement. It's really accessing the movement that's possible in the body that we limit so much by having tightness in the system. And all of this is energetic. And so much of it is to, is to be able to be in a communion and connection with the body that you're working on and perceive it, what it is doing, changing, asking for, where it's asking for. There's an ability to, to be able to see the future this body is trying to ask you to create as you're working on the body, so an awareness of the future. This is where the energetics of this manual therapy comes in. Because I can see where a body can go, where it's asking to go, and then I can also be aware of where the person is not going to allow that to happen. And when it and it may not change for sessions, or maybe later in that session, or it may never be chosen by the person. And the awareness, of all of that, is required to do this work well. Because if I'm, if I can see where body goes, and it's not willing to go there, and I push it, I just stop the entire healing process for that person. I ask, is I, I'm a question with the body: Are you willing to go there? With no point of view of it ever choosing it. What is the body willing to change with me? What is the possibilities of change it's willing to step into? And I will be there present with the body to facilitate what it is willing to be and ask for. And kind of at the edge, giving it a nudge. Just a little nudge, test in the water. Are we going to go there? No? Okay. That's the energetics of it. That's the where the skill and the mastery and the artistry of this kind of work comes in. Movement of your body. Bodies move with this. This is accessing movement, giving bodies more movement. And movement is off, can be from at the very cellular level where the cells are changing and you feel the fascial changing of your hands and being a guide without forcing and stopping. So this, the kinesthetic awareness is required in all of that, which is also an energetic way of being with the body. Here, do you guys want to see me work on someone? Yes. 
You have a C-section? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I love C-section scars. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. Scars get me all excited. Because they're so full of all this yummy stuff you can get rid of and free people up. I know. You actually would probably, are you okay with being on camera getting your C-section side? Oh, yeah. Okay. Your audio visual, visual disclaimer is now in effect. On <laughs> record. Much of my practice over the years has been working. Like, scars are the tip of the iceberg of fascial insanity underneath them. The little scar shows and the, the other stuff goes everywhere. And because fascia is everything, anything, like if I've got a fascia restriction here, top pulling, it pulls over to here and then my ribs go over, right? But then what does my liver do? What does everything have to do? And every time I walk, I have to fight this thing and I, my muscles aren't strong enough to ever fight it. So I have to compensate and then I get really, really tired. So I might make my back really, really tired all the time that you're going to go, you're going to feel the tiredness and go, my back's in pain. And then now your body gets to create back pain because you just told it it was sore, but it's actually only sore because it's been working really hard because of this thing that's in the scar over here. When you start to bring your awareness back into this place that's solidified, that's one of the things that happens with solidification in your body is you lose your awareness of you in the space between the molecules. You are not present in those dead spaces. Fascia restrictions are like glue. They're the judgment, the glue of judgment in bodies. <clears throat> you know, create pains and limitations because it's glued and stuck down. Energetic therapy that you're following the energy of is can't ever be from a formula because no two people will ever have anything similar. So now I'm now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna go with my fingertips into the scar and see and one of the things that's really important is I have a lot of awareness of her and often looking at the face because they people often not tell you that it's painful, but they will go, their eyebrows will <laughs> and this is something often women have never touched their scar 20, 30 years after the C-section. Have you ever touched your scar? Cool. Her, the, the first layer of skin is great. You go in about that far and it's, you can feel the, they make, they don't always stitch all the layers up well when they put, when we lay you back together after having a baby so that they can have more scarring underneath. So I'm going to find the hardest spot. Just, so I'm just going to, I'm doing straight down to the, meet the barrier, I'm meeting it, just where it gets, I'm not going past anything that's gonna be uncomfortable for her. She wouldn't like that, it wouldn't help. This is a, it's not fun for someone to stick your finger in their abdomen, period. And it's not fun on a C-section scar. It's gonna to start to melt, which you just felt a little bit, right? Did you feel a little it's something? A little bit of it's up there, yes. Yeah, so what would you, how would you say this feels? I mean, you don't have to, if you have no words. It feels like, um, I don't know how to say it, but I I cannot feel you. I know that you, I mean, because I feel at the beginning that you were working in this side, but mm -hmm. now I feel like if your finger were in the center, in the middle. It is more, it's a little like, bit more. You can't really feel, so a little numb kind of. Um, okay, so that's another thing I see a lot with infections, or, and other scars, but this particularly, hysterectomy scars also, Something about whatever energetically is around those surgeries is strange. Creates strange energies around that pelvic floor. Plus, it's not a place we're always really aware of before we have the surgery. It's a place we judge quite a bit. We take our awareness out with the judgments of it. We don't have our, we don't have the space between the molecules of this era we often are not even present in. What are you noticing now? Feels completely different. Yeah, it's starting to really melt under my fingers. I'm just going in deeper and deeper and zinging. Zing. And there's a lot more pull coming towards here, so I would now add my other hand in, if she could take it, depending on how sensitive it is, to do Because the adhesions are pulling along the inside of her, um, around her psoas muscle, and iliacus in there. Good? So her body's opening up a lot now, and I want to keep checking in that I don't, that I continually meet what her body's willing to receive when I don't go past it. There it is. She went. <laughs> and I'm bringing her awareness in. I'm, I'm, I'm inviting her to be here with me. Mm -hmm. Inviting her so energetically to you meet me on the inside. Just move my hand. And increase your awareness between the space between your molecules. She's like, no, 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 not really. No, nope, I'm not going to do that. Um, no, mm -mm. no, nope, not yet. Well, maybe, okay, maybe. No, no, no. Oh, God, it's not that bad. I can be there. 
So I just kind of describe you. You can say, that's not what I'm thinking at all. Shut up. I am two inches above her back. All of these adhesions can attach on all of the, in, the inside of the back. Yeah, the funny thing is this. Now we got the host psoas and the whole body and the quads are all really There you go. These parts. When I'm working here. Uh -huh. He talks about her other side of her back working. And I'm not working on her back, though, but there's adhesions and awareness there. Now that also following the energy of the body, listening to the body. What he's talking about, I'm like, oh, she touched her back a couple times. She told me about it. I'm going to check that out. Because somewhere what I'm working on here is connected. There's there's not the flexibility and the bounce between those two spots of our body, which is, has no anatomical relevance in any anatomy book you will ever look at. Okay. There's nothing that goes from this hip to a C-section scar to that part of your back. There's not a structure that exists in any book you'll ever read. This is only from energetic awareness. What she's showing me, what I'm feeling and perceiving with my kinesthetic, proprioceptive, and palpation skills, and the Awareness of bodies, blend that together. Woo, you good? It sounds like blah, 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 blah. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a feedback you get. <laughs> that is totally what it feels like when fascia releases. <laughs> and I'm gonna go a little, on a little bit of a different part of her scar. This is so vibratory now. You can see my hands. Mm -hmm. I can even feel it up here. So some of this will be off. There is off the body work. Too. So my hand's like a little antenna. When it vibrates in places, it gives me location sense. And not everyone's going to have that like I do. That took me a while to stop refusing because it looked like I had palsy and I was a freak. <laughs> and actually allow it to show me what it was. So if I turn my hand, it changes that <laughs> vibration. And it gets way more intense when I come in here. Which lets me give, give me some information. I think, okay, you know, I came up slow. You good? You can feel on that. Now, I, I didn't ask you to feel before, but go ahead and feel on your scar and see if it goes to the front. That was fine, I did with Yeah, I was actually wanting to go in. She's going to see me right away. That's cool. What? Yeah, so that's like 10 years. You have to be fucking kidding. That is a really good. Can I use that as a testimonial? I <laughs> 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 just show your face to them. She's like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, thank oh. you. Wow. <laughs> what happened, guys? <laughs> we were just having a moment. <laughs> She's felt a total change in her body that she hasn't felt since she had held oh. her child. <laughs> no, my child is perfect. My no, child how old? Is oh, uh, almost two years. So in two years, it's not had, she's not had this presence with this space. And when we're in the space between the molecules of our body, we're present with it, and it can be healed. It can start healing. This will continue to go on for, I like to say, like 24 hours. Her body will still be unwinding, changing, and being with it. Um, you want, am I okay with a little more? You can just That's be with great. that kindness for your body and gratitude. You can see my the right hand. Some of you may have, see the energy moving or there's a vibration. Good, good. I'm getting a little bit more intense. She's receiving a lot more pressure now that her body goes, oh, this is kind of cool, which can be a little bit more uncomfortable. Is it more uncomfortable? Yeah. Now? Okay. And then some of the spots are softer. So I just went to the spot that was, remember I said they would, see, now it's not, yeah. Here's my little antenna. Did that change? Mm -hmm. There's not the vibration that was there, gone, it's gone. So it will be different with other bodies. So I don't want that to become the way. The way, yeah. That when it vibrates, it's gonna, it's about to change or something. But it is something that my body perceives and notices, and I'm pulled to because I'm following the language of her body. And that's how you create the magical changes with bodies that are not seen in this planet. Every body that comes in that lets my hands work on them, changes my work, changes the planet, and changes their body. It contributes to other bodies. And the more I get to teach this, your body will contribute to more people. And then they'll teach people and so on and so on. And we will create more consciousness for bodies on the planet, which is my real target. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Well, when you smile, you shine. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> you can sit up. And you can share anything if you want to the camera or to the people here. Or not, it's fine. We can say what it felt like. I don't know like. how to say it, but 
I have touched my scar several times because it's big and I don't have any, any, anything happened to my life before my C-section. So I, it's my first scar. And I touch it every day and it's like, mm, it's, it's super hard. I don't know how to say it. If you have a scar, you know that it's, it's hard. It's like old skin, like dead skin or something that it's really, really hard, completely different to the rest of your skin. And right now it was difficult to find it. Because it's like, where's my scar? <laughs> it was like, I couldn't feel it. I, it was like, I, I had to... She was the that. perfect person. <laughs> yes. Wow. I had She's to... a plant. I just I asked her to come in. Yeah. I told her what to say beforehand. <laughs> it's not a scar, it's makeup. <laughs> no, that was that beautiful description. And I do talk, scars should feel like the other skin. You should have a really hard time finding a scar. Yeah. They should, I mean, there's maybe the possibility that you couldn't actually ever find a scar if they healed them as much as they actually could, yeah. that you would never even see that there ever had been a scar. Because it's all this whole fluid thing. It's a, it's a fascial dance, is what I like to talk about. It's a dance I'm doing with the body, and the body's leading the dance, obviously. So her C-section scar was leading the dance with my fingers. If I lead the dance, that would not have happened. If I came in with any point of view about what I wanted to change and what it would look like, it wouldn't have happened. Even the point of view that it's going to make it softer. That's usually what I see, but if I go in with that point of view, I can't follow the energy. It may want to create itself harder first before it gets off. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to miss that stuff. So yeah, a lot of this is to have you look at the body from a place that's a question, which can be difficult because there's so little of that that would grow up. It's a, it's a muscle. The energetic muscle is, al is almost more work than the manual mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Because this we kind of have an idea about it, for, especially for already a body worker, we have some of it. But the, to be truly a question in everything, to be questionable, questionable. <laughs> so the, the energetic work we do, the, the hard work we do is keeping ourselves out of those places that are injured. Because we think there's something really big, bad, and scary, ugly down there. Mm -hmm. Must be made way worse. That was a really bad day. And almost... There's no one I've actually had that, that it was as bad as they thought it was. And you require the awareness to change, because awareness, consciousness awareness of everything, including the weird, strange things that showed up in our lives that we don't want to be aware of. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny you showed up with that next week. Cool. Are we good? Yeah. Yeah? Am I done? Bye. Yeah, I remember that about you. You just said done, and everyone has to know. Yeah. Class wants to go. I need to listen to him, huh? Yeah. So class is over. She's very adamantly telling us that. Thank you.